Welcome to my fundraising concert, Music and Conservation. 
This concert is being used to help raise funds to help me travel to Tanzania this summer for the Daraja Music Initiative's 2024 Music Outreach. While volunteering for the Daraja Music Initiative, I will be teaching clarinet to young clarinet players in the Kilimanjaro region, and I will also be planting mpingo trees while I'm out there. For anyone that doesn't know, the mpingo tree is also known as the African blackwood tree and is used to make clarinets, um, oboes, piccolos, other musical instruments, and furniture in some places, but these trees are endangered and they also take multiple generations to mature. So the work that we'll be doing out there, myself and the other volunteers, in terms of planting these trees, we'll, within our lifetime, we'll never get to see the fruits of our labor. So my hope is that while I'm there, I'll be able to do good work. And so generations past my own will be able to benefit from that. So um, that first piece you all just heard is titled Black. And it was composed by a friend of mine named Mark Mellitz. Um, you all are in for quite a concert. <laughs> I have quite a lot of pieces and a lot of notes to share with all of you. So let's just kind of get straight into it. The next piece was, well, wasn't necessarily written for woodwind choir, but I chose to play it as a woodwind choir. This piece is titled, A Doctor a Day Keeps the Apple Away. I know, right? <laughs> and it was composed by one of my best friends, Glenn Zexer. There is no specified instrumentation for this piece, all that is specified is that there are five groups of instruments and as one group goes and moves forward, another group goes and plays the music that it just played. And this happens sequentially. And I chose to play a little bit of flute, piccolo, bass clarinet and soprano clarinet for this piece. And um, <laughs> I think the result is a little wild. So I hope you all enjoy this piece and I'll be sort of narrating and getting you all through this concert. So see you all soon.
Cool piece, right? <laughs> I really enjoyed recording it. Um, something I didn't mention is that that was also a world premiere of this piece. So thank you so much, Glenn, for trusting me with that. Um, something else I didn't mention is that every single sound you hear was performed by me, recorded by me, mixed by me, and mastered by me. And I did all the videos and did the videography and made up this whole concert. So I did all of that while trying to juggle being a graduate student working three jobs, being a good friend and family member, and also finding time to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> so um, life's been busy, but things that are important to us, you learn to make time for it. Um, the next piece on this program is titled Duo Mimpingo, and it was written by a friend of mine and a colleague named Sarah Hirsch. Sarah, if you're watching, I hope you're doing well. I miss you. And I'm really glad that I get to perform this piece again. Um, for all of you that are watching, um, this piece, as I said, Duo Mimpingo, was written for the Duraja Music Initiative years ago. And um, I'm excited to be able to showcase all this music for you because not only is it sort of like a, not only is it just two clarinets that are performing with each other, there are aleatoric moments in the middle where you get to hear me make sounds that are not necessarily associated with the clarinet. So I hope you all enjoy this piece. I'll see you all soon.
premiere. <laughs> Except for this time, this is from um, a, originally a saxophone quartet. What I will be presenting is a clarinet quartet version of two of the movements from the Ciudades by Guillermo Lago. I'll be playing Saravejo and Colm from the entire six movement work. Um, I, Guillermo, thank you so much for making these arrangements for me. I am happy to be able to show the clarinet world this version of this piece. Um, I hope you all enjoy it too.
A lot of notes, right? Especially there at the very end. Oh, as a clarinet player, I love doing that. So um, it's kind of like a, a bad habit. I tend to drift to music where I get to throw my fingers around a lot. I need to play easier things, but I didn't make it easy for myself because the last piece on the program is just as hard and <laughs> there are twice as many notes. Um, I must also apologize for all of my Percy Granger loving friends. Um, I kind of took one of his pieces and turned it into my own. <laughs> so what you're about to hear is a clarinet quartet version of Molly on the Shore, but in a minor key. Um, I originally got this idea from a friend of mine, Joshua Martinez. Um, we both served together in the Marine Corps. Simplify. <laughs> there you go. But um, while serving with him, we did a benefit concert. No, no, sorry, not a benefit concert. We did a joint concert with musicians from the President's Own, and we happened to play Molly on the Shore. And a few times, sitting in clarinet sectionals, Joshua would literally play it in a minor key and we'd all have a fun time and two years later I sent him a text message asking if I could fully flesh out the piece and he said yes. So what you're about to hear is that. <laughs> Instead of calling it Molly on the Shore though, I kept the syllables and I just put my name over it. Marcus Irving Moore. But then I'm like, I had a day where I was, um, backstory. Um, I had a day where I went rock climbing with Glenn um, this past fall, and rock climbing went well. I was like, okay, cool. This was, this was a fun thing. We go back to Glenn's house, like 40 minutes away from the rock climbing place, and we're like, let's go get some food. I'm like, yeah, I want to get food. I might want to get a drink, too. Oh, where's my ID? Oh, I must have left it at the rock climbing place. I did. <laughs> In order to get, like, the correct shoes, you had to give your ID, so they give you the shoes, and I ended up giving them their shoes, but never got my ID back. So we drove 40 minutes all the way back and then drove back to his place. But when I went into the front lady who was helping out, I asked for my ID and she was like, oh yeah, Marcus, you're serving more. I'm like, what? Serving what? I don't look that great today. She's like, no, your name. It's like, Marcus, serving more. I'm like, oh. I almost cried in front of her because I never really liked my name growing up. People picked on me, but... When she said that, it kind of changed everything for me. So I used that moment and I titled this piece that. And um, this version of Molly on the Shore, not only is it in a minor key, there's a little Afro like inspiration in there. There's some Middle Eastern sensations that you'll get as well. And a lot of notes, <laughs> a lot of notes. This is, people, I mean, everyone kind of knows that Molly on the Shore is a little tricky. Uh, you know, you know, Mark is serving more is much harder, so I apologize for anyone who ever wants to play this and have fun. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this, um, this quartet. Um, thank you all so much for tuning into this concert. I'll see you all at the very end. Thank you. 
Hello! Thank you so much for tuning in to my fundraising concert. I am so very grateful that I got to perform music for all of you and got to share my hard work with all of you. Um, I would like to thank the Marine Corps Forces Pacific Band for letting me use their facilities to do all of the audio recording. I would like to thank my best friend Nicole for being somebody that I could plan this whole event with um, and thank you for being a sounding board for me. If you like Twitch streaming um, or watching Twitch streamers, I have Nicole's um, account information in the description so please follow and subscribe to her. She's awesome. Um, and I would like to thank everybody who has just helped with this journey so far. I'm looking forward to going out to Africa this summer. I'm extremely grateful for my colleagues who reached out to me and trust me enough to represent their program. So um, I will do my best. I, it starts here, but the work doesn't, doesn't stop from there. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing where my journey takes me. And I'm looking forward to making more cool light shows. <laughs> it was really cool that I got to do that for Duo and Pingo. Um, I really like light stuff, so it's really awesome. But I hope you all have a blessed day. God bless all of you. And See y'all around. Thank you.